Hi everybody, it's David and Huey, and today we're here to present you our top five male celebrity. Yes, in level of sexiness. Well, you're gonna have your own five, and I'm gonna have my own five. So. Yeah, because we have really different tastes in men. Well, maybe we're gonna have some common. We didn't tell each other which. Yeah. One. So we'll see. Okay. Are you ready? So we're gonna start with five up to one. Yeah. Okay. So you wanna go first? Yeah. So my number five is Jared Padalecki. So for those who don't know, he was in Gilmore Girls and most recently in Supernatural. Which one is that? The younger brother or the, uh, the brother? one with the longer hair? Oh, the younger brother. Number five on my list is Chris Pratt. As you know him from the Guardian of the Galaxy. He used to be a bear, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's not hairy. He was just chubby. <laughs> yeah, but then I think he got in shape and he's like really hot. Yeah, thumbs up to you, Chris Pratt, because that is really difficult. I can tell. <laughs> so my number four is Trevante Rose. So for those who don't know, it's I think he's pretty new out there. He's in the the gay movie Moonlight recently. He was on Chelsea Handler's show recently. Oh, very right. tall, muscle, such a handsome lad. What else was he in before that? I don't remember. I'm not sure. Like honestly, I've never heard about him until that show on Chelsea Handler, and then it makes me really want to watch Moonlight, which I haven't yet. Yeah, we should go watch it soon. Yeah. So number four on my list is. I think this one might be in yours as well. Is Steven Yeun? <gasps> if you don't know who Steven Yeun is, you should go Google him. Like if, if you don't know Steven Yeun, you live in a cave. Like do I say his last name right? Yeun. 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 I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce it honestly. Yeah, he's an American Korean actor, and uh, he's really hot. But sadly, he's well. I don't want to ruin. It for anybody's watching. Don't say it. Like people are gonna hate. The Walking Dead. Don't, but... don't, 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 don't. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying anything. But yes, if you don't know him, go Google him. Yeah. So my number three on the list is Liam Emsworth. So the younger Emsworth brother. Uh, I think no. Maybe there's a younger one. Is he the middle one? Well, the... uh, there's three of them. They have the a younger one, I think. Miley Cyrus's ex, basically. Isn't he the one from the Hunger Games? Yeah, the Hunger Games. So not Thor, the other one. <laughs> not Thor. He's really hot. I think he's hotter than Thor, for some reason. Mm, I don't know. He's a bit That's... skinnier, but I don't know. Okay, so was that not your number three? Number three, yeah. Number three on my list is Jesse Williams. Have you heard of Jesse Williams? No. He's one of the doctors on Grey's Anatomy. No, I don't know. He's really hot. He, I think he's mixed uh, Swedish and African, mm -hmm. but like, it's a really hot mix. Like he's so dreamy. You will see in the pictures. Yeah, I'll see it. I can't. It's, I don't. I don't really know him because I didn't watch Grey's Anatomy. So my number two. Actually, we have quite. We have some common on the list. So my number two is Steven Young. <laughs> uh, he's so hot and cute, seriously. And yeah, The Walking Dead, that's where we know him from. Uh, but he what? was in the younger um, Indiana Jones. Actually. Was it? Yeah, I think he was the, the kid in the movie. I'm kind of excited to see uh, what he's going to do next. If he's going to be in another show or a movie or whatever. I know, but don't do any spoilers if that, that can't lead to that. <laughs> But anyway, now we know who we're gonna have a threesome with one day, if anything. <laughs> Steven. Well, wait. Wait till you see my number one. Oh. Uh, number two on my list is, well, this one you might disagree with because you're not a big fan of him. I don't know why. My number two is Matt Bomber. I don't know why you don't like him. He's so handsome. What a bummer. 
I don't. So, I just think he's so like generic. I don't think he's. He's not generic. Not well, generic to me. Really? And Liam Hemsworth is not generic. Well, kinda. I guess. Right. <laughs> no, he's handsome, but it's just not in my top list. Well, and I like the fact that he's gay. Represent. Yeah, high five to that. <laughs> okay. Now let's see your number one. <laughs> so my number one is your number five. Chris Pratt. Oh. I think Chris Pratt is so lovely, but not only his physique, but also his personality. I think he's charming. Yes. He's, he's really uh, accessible, I feel. Like he's he looks like the guy next door, but so sexy at the same yeah. time. He's like like the male version of um uh what's her name? Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah, exactly. I was thinking the same and I'm so glad that they're making a movie together. I know. The Passenger. I'm so... Like, I'm anxious about these. these yeah, movies. these two are probably our favorite um, Hollywood actor and actress right now. Mm -hmm. Just because they're so real yeah. and we feel kind of closer to them. So I guess that's why Chris Pratt is my first. I would just so, yeah. Threesome? Mm. Well, foursome. Chris Pratt and Steven Yeun. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not gay, sadly. So, number one on my list, can you guess who it is? No. So number one on my list, uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys know of him. His name is Niall DiMarco. Do you know which one I'm talking about? No. So he's the first deaf winner of the um, American Next Top Model. What? I don't watch this show. I have no idea. You really don't know who Niall is? I have oh my no god, idea. he's gonna have to show you. Like, he's really hot and also he's sexually fluid. Oh, that's interesting. Is that what you base, like, your choice on? Like, your no. chances that maybe. No, it's not just that. It's just like, you know, like, like what you say about Chris Pratt. You feel related to them and you feel like. You know, you connect with them because they represent as, you know, some part of your identity. So yeah, I guess. And it's it's nice to see that people with challenges like that are able to go yeah. through this and still be very successful. Yeah. And well, I can't believe you don't know him. You actually. I probably saw him before. It's just I'm not really familiar with those shows. So like, just like this. It's Once you show me a picture, I probably remember. Well, he was he got famous from the show, but then he does like a lot of modeling and whatever else. Like you must have seen him before. Anyway, so that's our list of top five male celebrity crush. Yeah. So does it count as an all all pass if? Is <laughs> Is a what pass? An all pass. What's an all pass? So let's say if the, if we meet those celebrity, we have like a free pass to <laughs> go for it. Yeah, right. Like any of these guys ever gonna want to sleep with us. You never know. <laughs> Whatever, Niall, if you're listening to this, we open to threesome. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't <laughs> even know who it is. Well, you will know who it is when you see him. <laughs> we agreed on Chris Pratt and Stephen Young. Well, the more the merrier. <laughs> wow, someone's getting kinky here. Well, anyway, let us know what you think of our list and share with us in the comments below. Yeah, that would be favorite as well. That would be awesome. Just in the comment below, leave your top five and see what what you have. Maybe we have some comment as well. Yeah. And hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I can't say that word. Also, give us a thumb up. A thumbs up, like. Ah, I can't even speak English We're fine. Zoom. <laughs> if you like our video, thank you and we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.